Why do you think it is that match with Randy that's resonated so hard across generations with fans? Oh, God. I mean, you know, on what, 32, 33 years ago, um, everywhere I go, the fans, uh, that that match, two to one, is talked about the most to me. Yeah. Uh, the matches I have with Ric Flair, of course, but why? Um, you know, uh, we didn't know it at the time, but um, we 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 wanted to come across as the fans that we wanted to make it a championship match. And I'll give credit where credit's due because there are two biggest icons in the business, Andre the Giant and, and Hulk Hogan, were they were headlining uh, WrestleMania three. Yeah. And, and we were we were the match right before them, Man. and uh, obviously obviously they had the world championship up for grabs, and we wanted to make ours a, a championship match, and um, so we, as in laying that thing out, um, we sort of changed the blueprint, not knowing back then. Now I keep saying that we didn't know we were going to change things, but uh, to make it a championship match, it was about him trying to hold on to it and me trying to beat him for it. And we ended up with all these false finishes, like, you know, like 20 false finishes in a match that went less than 17 minutes. Yeah. And, and, um, you know, customarily back then it was an average about seven or eight false finishes in the course of a match. Right. You know, but you know, we had almost, I think it was either 19 or 20 false finishes. And then, then, the the twenty first one was was the one two three. So right. we took a fans on a wild ride because with all the ups and downs, and he was covering me and trying to beat me and back and forth and throughout that whole match. And and at least that's what the guys moving forward, you know, tell me today. He says Ricky, that match, you know, uh, I sort of uh, it changed everything about how to structure things. And you guys really, you know, we went nonstop for that length of time. And God, we were we were going hard. Yeah. Well, do you feel, and, um, do you guys? You know what? You know one of the things. That, you know one of the things I do wish Nick is that you know, I think I think Macho passed away about mm, maybe seven years ago, maybe eight, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. And um, God, I just wish that he would be with me, sitting at my side when we're doing these appearances, and we both could, uh, you know, be together and reminisce and, and 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 just be in wonderment of how the fans, you know, thirty years later, remember us. You know, he just, he just went too way too soon, you know, way too soon. 